Next, I would like to recognize on the floor, right, Dr. Rigo Baldegger, Dean and Director and Professor of Strategy at the Innovation Entrepreneurship at the School of Management in Fribourg. Dr. Rigo, the floor is yours. Thank you, Eamon, for the nice introduction. As Dean of the School of Management Fribourg and President of the Sustainability Foundation, uh, high-impact SMEs are for me of primary interest. It is even related to my professional experience as an entrepreneur, being involved in several startups, uh, being in Europe and the US, and clearly even today acting as business angel and board member. And clearly I like to give you even, sorry Katya, my definition of my small as a Swiss entrepreneurial, let's say revolution definition. The background is for me quite clear that all economists agree that here yeah, clearly we have a lot of SMEs in low and high income economies. And but the reason that the question is what is their impact? You know, clearly, what is the impact of this kind of in relation to social, economic engagement impact? And I will focus my, my talk in relation to the innovation capability of, of SMEs. And this in relation to business models and even young talents. I call my, let's say, more my title sustainability squared. Why? Uh, let's say the background of it is that most SMEs are doing R&D quite well, but more or less inside. So they are not so, let's say, open really to for open innovation concept. to take really information, knowledge from outside, outside their whole network. And it could be a good opportunity, you know, for or growing, let's say, even the company, and to increase the impact. And, but in detail, you know, it's even, let's say, quite the in, interesting to see what, where are the competences. A lot of SMEs that don't have competences in managing capability, typically in relation to sustainability. I think that we have to increase, and the big question is, what should we do, or rather, what should we do better? Firstly, in my opinion, we should invest more in scalable business model in a long-term perspective. We are always talking about business model innovation, but we have to refocus a little bit and looking for business model with scaling perspective, even let's say to support successful entrepreneurs in existing SMEs, or even let's say uh, SMEs say, have this kind of impact rather than technology or impact. Secondly, for me, quite important, these kind of business models they have to be in sustainable markets. I would like to let's agree what you said before, uh, Charlene, that it's really important, you know, that we're going with business model in a scalable way in sustainable markets. And the question is how we can do it inside SMEs. Thirdly, in my opinion, you have to integrate more young talents. I think the solution without the young talents especially without ambitious young talent. We will never, let's say, achieve this kind of famous 17 SDGs. And even in, in the same time, you know, if you can, let's say, motivate young talents to work inside SMEs, even if you have a win-win situation. You have a situation even for, let's say, to have SMEs looking for integ integrating young talents, and even, let's say, trying to let's say, apply for research grants, you know, increase technology scanning, that both can let's and win. And the young talents, they have the possibility as a, a playground to let's and learn experience, managerial experience, or to see, okay, could be cool. In the future, I could be an entrepreneur, but not in a new company, in an existing company, and to take it over. And uh, I would like to give you one or two examples. First, I think we have to do more promotion that are interesting job opportunities inside SMEs. What is sometimes the reason that young talents are going in big companies or in fast growing startups? And, but we have to give them a purpose. And clearly, if the SMEs is focused on sustainability projects, they could attract young talents. It could be great to work in SMEs. Secondly, 
what we sometimes we allege we did, allege that you have not the same salary condition in SMEs like in, in fast growing startups or in big companies. We are creating a voucher system for SMEs that the foundation will take over one part of the salary that can really the SME could profit from. So the SMEs have the possibility to recruit, to integrate young talents to incent to go in the next way. And clearly, lastly, you know, at the end, you need to think differently. <laughs> and clearly, at the end, as a dean of a business school, it's really clear how we educate. We have to change our even behavior, how we educate and our focus. In my opinion, content is not longer king. <laughs> I think it's more or less a mindset. What we are really teaching to our young graduates, it is really an entrepreneurial, a growth mindset or not. I think that we have to create more, let's say, agility and more, let's say, new mindset for our young talents. Finally, clearly, uh, business schools have to innovate. And in one hand, sorry for all the professor in, you know, the faculty is a problem and the solution. So the faculty has to be more, let's say, even acting as an entrepreneur and thinking as an entrepreneur and going, let's say, in the last part of it to being, let's say, looking for sustainability. At the end, I will not aim only uh, talk about sustainability squared. I talk even sustainability tripled to look even, right, say, for the faculty, for SMEs, and for sustainability issues. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Rico Baldegger. Thank you for supporting ICSB and being one of our main sponsors for this World Congress. We'd like to recognize you with a gavel for this occasion right now.